Welcome back to Time Master. In this video, we're going to talk about expenses. Okay, let's dive right in. I'm going to add a new expense here. And let's say that we are going to put a, a mileage tracking down for our AT&T. As you can see, we have our TV Guide app down here. Tap on that, and you can see it automatically fills in the client. And expenditure we want to pick uh, one of the ones we set up so let's say we traveled in our van and you can see that we have for that expenditure we'd set up that is 30 cents a mile and it sets your last odometer reading that you had on this so let's say that's where we started you can tap on the odometer when we're done and let's say that we went 110 miles we can set that actually 111 and you can also see that if you change the uh, number of miles here say it was 130 miles that will change the ending odometer uh, in the expenses we also have attributes reimbursable receipt and taxable uh, taxable was is also used for our invoice module so if it's a taxable expense you'll want to put that here when you export this on the either the HTML email or the CSV reports, these words will actually show up in the attributes column separated by commas. And the last thing is the purpose, which is the notes that you want to pass on to the client. And we could just say travel expense to clients office. and done okay and also if we can also have other vehicles on here and as you can see that this has its own odometer for this other entry so if you have multiple vehicles you'll want to add multiple expenditure type one for each each vehicle okay another thing I want to note is for a general expense and let's say that we're picking the client again and this time we're going to pick ABC and if we pick a project you can see that only the projects for ABC will show up in the list this time okay for expenditure if you just have a generic expenditure that you're not going to be uh, using it's so like one shot just leave that blank and put in the amount and the quantity if you haven't expense type that you use over and over again so say for example we burn data CDs a lot you might want to set that one up with and it has its own amount quantity defaults to one you can change that if you want we'll X that out put in two and then we'll say that we uh, burned the data CD with graphics and we'll save that and now you'll see that you've got your two ABC things here also we have the same filters for the entries as the time entries so you can filter by this month if you want or or any other date ranges you can also do expense filters again clients projects it, whether it's invoiced or not and there's your expenses that pretty much wraps it up thanks for watching